Hello, hello, hello. This is Tom from Tom and Ruth Philippine Adventures. Today I want to talk about solar. I'm going to show you uh, my little setup that uh, we just finished and give you an idea of what it's about. Uh, what I did is we have uh, solar panels on the roof. Uh, I'll show you pictures of that. You will see that uh, right before this, this video. But this right here is the setup that I have. Um, here's the MPP controller. Uh, the controls. This is actually a smart controller and of course we have a thousand watt inverter here. Now what I did was <clears throat> I did a grid tie-in inverter. So this ties into the grid. So whatever I'm producing here here will actually put into the grid uh, back into the grid. So for example say um, <clears throat> I'm using 10 kilowatts a day. This will put back into the grid so I'm getting, I'm getting money from this. And then of course my batteries, I have six batteries, 50 amp hours each, so 300 amp hours. And pretty simple. I'm actually buying another inverter. I'm gonna put a switch here, another inverter, and then we're gonna, so when we have brownouts, because we have brownouts, this will shut down. We have brown, uh, so I'll have a switch, I just flip the switch, and then have an inverter, I add a strip cord to it, and then add my lights <coughs> and TV and all the other things I want to add to it. Uh, the system I have, small, it will not handle the lights. I mean the TV air conditioning uh, because it's, it pulls 900 watts and then it, uh, it levels out at about 500 watts, between four and 500 watts on the average. But, you know, I can easily add on this system, or actually start another system. Uh, what had happened was, I uh, my panels were too strong for my batteries, and I burned up the the uh, actually the batteries, and I had to order a new battery. I had to order a new uh, inverter. Uh, I wired them up in series. I pulling I ended up pulling 72 volts into the system. And what it did, it, uh, it burned it up. Another thing that was interesting is China. My batteries uh, came from China, of course. The, the batteries themselves were marked, you know, red positive and, uh, of course, black is negative. Well, not in this case. So I wired it up, red positive and black negative. Well, uh, it didn't work. It, things started burning up and everything else. So I had a heck of a time. So they marked wrong in the Chinese battery factory. So black is positive and red is negative on these batteries. So uh, I ordered some more batteries that I'm going to add on to this system. I'm going to have the air con on at 100%. And then uh, another uh, two, three more solar panels. And the ones I'm going to get is uh, 200 watts each. Um, or the 260, I'm so sorry, 260 watts each. So it'll give me enough power that I can uh, run the whole house. Now this system I have here that is just really for the grid. And what it will do is, I use on the average 10 to 12 kilowatts a day. I just got the bill, it's 393 kilowatts I use this month. Uh, excuse the roosters. And so uh, I'm gonna try to cut that down. I had another system that I had uh, previous to this, I actually sold it to another gentleman. Uh, he, he actually gave me pretty good money for it. Uh, it was already set up. And what I did, I put this on a two-wheeler that I can actually move that. It's on a two-wheeler. I can actually make it portable. You can actually attach a uh, solar panel to it. You're ready to rock because you just plug in, plug out the uh, solar panel and you're ready to go. So if you want a solar safe for a party or you need it for radio or karaoke or uh, whatever, whatever TV at a party, you just roll that, put it in your car, and you can take it anywhere you want. So you have a, a setup for that. But I want to talk about that. Since I was on the subject with solar, and I'm going to show you, I have a couple of videos that's going on this back on uh, behind this video is some more video. But I want to show you this uh, solar. I think I showed you this thing before. It's a little black box solar. Costs uh, two dollars from Lazada, 
and I got them scattered in the yard. Those things work great because uh, it's motion censored and they actually have a dimming effect and a light effect. So if someone walks by, they brighten up and then it just dims down and then stays on for like 15 minutes. And then if nobody's around, it'll, it'll shut itself off. But I wanted to show you my solar. You'll see the panels. Uh, you'll see, you saw the setup I have there. Uh, I actually ordered another inverter and uh, it should be here, uh, they said next week, an isolator, a DC isolator that I'm just going to be able to, so if power's off at the house, I'll be able to switch it and then I can have power for uh, lights or whatever I want inside the house and I just run it off the batteries for whatever time. This way it gives me uh, double duty. Then I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to get more solar panels for the uh, air con <clears throat> and hook it up. Uh, the air con I have is energy saving air con where it will run and then it kicks off. And when it drops the temperature wherever it gets and it gets hotter in the house, it, it'll turn back, turn itself back on. So it really won't pull a lot, but I'm getting the panels just in case. Um, my bill uh, this time was uh, half. Uh, I normally pay anywhere from four five to five thousand because I have two air conditioners and I have two houses. So, uh, you know, people, family, always in and out. So uh, it's really not bad five hundred bucks for for that. Uh, dog behind me scared me. The the thing. So the most important thing is. If I can get the bill a little less than the half, now at 2.5, uh, I might get it down less than that. Even if I just get it at 1,000 or 1,500. I hate paying bills. So if I can get that off my uh, back, it would be uh, really a nice thing. So long video. Thank you for watching and please hit subscribe.